Gentlemen, always remember one thing. This thing was pumped out of their brains in here. I've known Coach Bruce is a good friend of mine. Very good friend of mine. Even when I was sick and coming back from my second bottle of cancer. I don't even know if you guys know that. I've had cancer twice. I got that. When they took my spleen out in November of 82. Right? Radiation treatment, saw that crap. Then I went through after I won the Olympics a year of treatment, six months of chemo. That kind of stuff. So, Bruce is a good friend. Came down here and trained with him when he won his first world championship. Uh, I've covered him you know, with NBC and all the Olympics. He's a class act and he's assembled good clinicians. We understand it's not about our career here. My career is old. Our whole aim is your career. We want to help you build a career give you tools that will help you. All right, I want to just point out one thing with the spiral. I found trying to collect the pitch, three and four hundred pound bodies was extremely difficult weighing 230 pounds. Here's my proof I never took steroids. Those big arms? No. There's one you're in the right position, you can be powerful. So, off the spiral rise, I'm going to come off the whistle. This hand goes right to the top. See it? This hand does not want to lunge. You don't want to do a forearm shiver. You know a switch? If I go to forearm shiver and he scouted me at all, Off the whistle, if I suddenly decide to lunge and he does that, look how quickly I disappear. So you never lunge. What you want to do is engage and then use your hips. So I'm here, bang, engage. See how my knee is hitting my arm that's moving your arm? See if I can bring my hip out to help collapse that arm down? And this hand, look up with that arm. This hand pulls that knee over. Now I'm looking for this one-on-one. -on -one. See that? I want the one-on-one. -on -one. And what I developed in college was this series right here. All based, the whole series based on what the other guy did to me in reaction to what I was doing to him. And I'm gonna go through the whole thing right now quickly and show you. I hit here. So immediately, I want to get to the safe position, which is 90 degrees looking at the wrist you're working on. Right here. Now I had somebody say, hey, why can't the guy just stand up on you? Do you feel like you can stand up on me? You are grounded. If you want to stall in a match the last 30 seconds, go here like you're trying to pull the wrist out, and you're not. I'm just sitting there going, oh, I'm trying to get it. 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 So it looks like I'm trying to pin him, but all I'm doing is holding him square on the back where he can't attack me and I can kill the clock. However, I'm an aggressive guy. I don't want to kill the clock. I want to pin your butt. So this is what I started with. I saw this by a guy named Bill Wick and Jim Peckham. Peckham was a two or three time Olympic coach. He coached the guy that coached me at the Olympics, Brad Reingans. I met him and trained with him out in Boston. He showed me this move as a freshman. I get the wrist, I immediately circle to the head. Notice my hips are down. I bring my knee up to block your head right here. And I make you look at the wrist. And I set my foot and I pull. See how it's gonna bring you over? Go back to your belt. It's just like catching a marlin. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna hook that marlin and I gotta pull. You see how it pushes up the roll? And then I hit punch. Catch. Right? 